Today I'm in the garage working on my wife's 2016 Volkswagen Golf R. Just making a quick video showing you how to remove the door handle from one of these. But it's not that difficult. Um, I'm going to send this one to actually get um, this dent removed. You can see that the door handle has been pushed in. I don't know exactly how this happened. If somebody just hit it real hard or leaned up against it somehow and, and pushed in this whole section where the handle is. But whatever the case, I'm going to pull it off and send it to a dent removal guy and see what he can do with it. So... First thing you want to do is open your door and pull this little plastic cap off here. So these come off pretty easy usually. You can usually just kind of grab it off with your fingers like that, this little cap. Get that out of the way and if you look in here, oh good you can see this, but if you look in there, there's a, where that hole is to the left of this image, there's a little um, half moon shaped piece of plastic. You need to get a hook in there and pull out on it. So. This is the hook I use. It's actually a radio removal tool for a Mercedes. It works the best for this. Um, there's the part number right on it. It's just a little hook. You can make one yourself. You could bend up a coat hanger or something probably and do this. But um, yeah, this, this works excellent. So you just get in there like, like this, rotate it like that, and just pull out. like that. Once you pull out on it like that, you can get behind this piece here and just kind of wiggle it off. So there, you can already feel it's kind of loose. Um, pull the door handle out. I'm trying to do this with one hand, it's easier with both. But with the door handle kind of out, you can pull it off like that. So there it is, pull straight out. That little thing stays right there. And then the door handle itself typically would be in like this, but you would end up just kind of pulling it to the towards where that piece was you just removed back and then swinging it outwards and then unhooking it in the front. This one has um, a sensor up here, so there's a electrical connection you're going to have to undo once you pull it off. But um, on a lot of them that don't have that, that's not really an issue. So because I think this is distorted a little bit, it's not coming off as nice as they typically do. But usually you can kind of just wiggle them out just like that. And here's your handle. There it is right there. There's the connector at the end. I'm going to have to disconnect that. And then uh, here it is. So pretty easy to get off there. Not that big of a deal. I'm going to pull back that little red piece right there on the little touch sensor. And then, uh, and that's it. So thanks for watching.